Sir, I'll put it very plainly and simply to you. Drogheda needs, urgently needs a COVID-19 testing centre, <clears throat> and it needs it now. I want to thank the 1,307 people who have to date signed a petition that I launched just a couple of days ago, and that shows the depth of feeling in the area and the need for a testing centre in what is Ireland's largest town. It's an absolute travesty that Ireland's largest town doesn't have a COVID-19 testing centre. The population of Drogheda is in town alone is in excess of 40,000, and that's not including its hinterland, which brings the population up to approximately 70,000. The population of Drogheda alone, Minister, is larger than the population of the county of Leitrim and the county of Longford, and is close enough to the population of the county of Carlow. I need to tell you, Minister, that access to quick and safe testing is absolutely crucial for personal health, for public health, and also in terms of our economic need um, as well. I first made the case for COVID-19 testing centre back in April, but since then those calls have been falling on deaf ears. Uh, and it's not good enough. Um, the system seems to be obsessed with using county boundaries. County boundaries are anachronisms when we're dealing with a challenge like this, and it's certainly an anachronism when you're dealing uh, with a town, a nascent city like Drogheda, spread across two um, local authority areas and two councils. I deal all the time with people who are being sent for tests to Dundalk, and are doing a good job in the testing centre in Dundalk, and I want to pay tribute to the staff who are there and all of the medical uh, lab scientists who manage the tests and do the tests. They're doing tremendous work. But I deal with people all of the time who have no option other than to get onto public transport, to go up the motorway, to have a test done in Dundalk, putting themselves and uh, fellow passengers at risk. They don't want to have to do that. They want to have a test in their own area, safely and accessibly. And if the will is there, as we have seen in terms of the so-called pop-up COVID centres in recent times, then this it can be done. The truth is, Minister, Drogheda needs a COVID-19 testing centre, and it needs it now. Tara, Tara no way to go. I'd like to thank uh, Deputy National Adal for raising this very, very important issue. And a comprehensive, reliable and responsive testing and tracing operation is central to our public health strategy for containing and slowing the spread of COVID-19. Capacity has been in place since early summer to test 15,000 people a day. While the system did come under pressure in recent weeks, overall the system is working well and is proving central to our public health response. Rigorous contract tracing, automatic testing of close contacts, serial testing in high-risk environments and large-scale testing in outbreak situations mean we are proactively finding more cases than we would have previously. In recent weeks, we have needed to flex resources up significantly as demand has increased. We are testing more people than ever before, with over 85,000 tests completed in the last week. Community testing has increased in line with a steady increase in the prevalence of the disease, and the HSE has deployed additional resources to meet this increased demand. This included the opening of additional community testing centres and mobile pop-up testing units, significantly increased contact tracing teams and increased laboratory testing. There are community testing centres, as you said, uh, currently fully operation seven days a week in Dundalk and at Slane, at Slane Health Centre, to serve the population of Loud and Mead combined. They have been offering in excess of 750 appointments on individual days. Persons from Drogheda are currently being referred for testing in Dundalk and Slane, and at present there are no plans for a pop-up testing centre in Drogheda. However, referral demand in any area is subject to ongoing review by the HSE and evaluation against available capacity. Actions are continually uh, evaluated by the HSE to ensure that capacity meets demands, including extension of opening hours and addition of testing stations to existing sites. The HSE advises that current demand nationally and also in the Dundalk Slane centres is being met, and there is a clear example of the response to demand being actioned. For example, on 16 September, 761 appointments were offered across the two facilities, whereas two weeks previously those two centres offered a combined 450 appointments a day approximately. Further actions, including the standing up of a pop-up testing centre, have been initiated in other areas where the above actions were not deemed sufficient to meet with demand. The HSE is now finalising a future service model for testing and tracing. 
This service model will aim to deliver a patient centre accessible, consistent and flexible service. This plan includes the recruitment of a permanent workforce which has already commenced and a range of other service improvements which will be rolled out quickly. Transition to the new model is underway and can continue through the autumn. As part of this, a comprehensive assessment of community testing swabbing locations is being undertaken and criteria considered including suitability and sustainability of the location as a long-term testing centre as well as travel time to test centres. As I've said, we are constantly looking to improve responsiveness of the testing and tracing system further and will keep demand and capacity under review. However, I do appreciate the two deputies have raised the issue of a pop-up testing <coughs> centre in Drogheda uh, for COVID-19, and I will relay those concerns to the Minister as soon as possible. I mean, the idea that a testing centre would be closed down in Dundalk and moved to RD, I think, is, is missing the point uh, entirely. That's splitting the difference. Uh, really, uh, in terms of good planning, what we should be doing is making sure that the responses were uh, the uh, service is needed, uh, and that in this case uh, is Drogheda. And if you look at it on population terms, on need terms, uh, an objective case can be made and should be made to locate uh, a centre of some permanence um, in Drogheda. The HSE facilities, by the way, are there, and it would not take a huge initiative to try to ensure that the resources uh, are, 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 are allocated to those particular um, facilities. Um, your quick and local testing is critical to beating uh, this condition and to making sure that our you know, economy remains open and that people stay in work and that businesses continue to thrive under difficult circumstances. We have far too many situations where people are waiting for days for tests while their family remain home, not at school, and uh, uh, partners and so on have to um, absent themselves from the workplace. Money, Minister, has been no object in the fight against COVID-19. We are borrowing eye-watering levels of money to tackle this condition, and we will do the same next year. And it is or better to plan in advance for a problem that we know we are going to have, rather than simply react on it. In a few months' time, uh, you acknowledge in this House then, maybe we should have established a COVID-19 testing centre in I implore uh, you and the Senior Minister to make the right decision now for Drogheda, a decision that makes policy sense. Uh, thank you again. I want to thank Deputy Nash and Deputy O'Dowd for uh, their commitment uh, to trying to get uh, a pop-up centre to uh, uh, Drogheda. Uh, they have made a very, very powerful case. And as I said earlier, the HSE advises that we are currently meeting all the testing demand nationally across the end-to-end -end testing and tracing pro process with adequate swabbing and laboratory capacity. And, um, I understand that these things will be reviewed and these issues reviewed, and I will bring it to the, uh, to the Minister. Unlike many other European countries, our testing demand does not currently exceed supply. We are one of the few countries who automatically test close contacts as well as conducting serial testing. And we are amongst the highest ranked in Europe on testing per one million of population, having done more testing than Germany, France, Norway, Italy, etc. As I said, the HSE did 85,000 tests, 85, tests last week, and our largest number yet, 52,000 in community, 20,000 acute, and 13,000 serial. The HSE has 100,000 tests per week capacity since May, about 30 per cent of which was offshore capacity at the time. However, over the sum summer months, it built capacity to 100,000 per week on island. In addition to this, the HSE has added surge capacity of 2,000 per, per day from our German laboratory partner, which we are very, very fortunate to have, as there is a large and growing demand internationally nationally for such capacity. HSE continues to forecast demand, demand and is looking at additional kits, robots and methodologies that will increase onshore testing capacity across the winter months. There are always improvements to be made, which we remain very focused on, to ensure consistency in the end-to-end -end, uh, end -end testing process. In conclusion, referral demand in any area is subject to ongoing review by the HSE and evaluation against available capacity, whether that be static or pop-up testing centres. Again, I will bring your concerns to the Minister and thank you for your interest in this very important subject.